Today, Crystal Head Vodka sells millions of crates by the hour. But we can't all be successes right off the bat, as young Dan Aykroyd had to start somewhere. And so he did in work of holiday theme animation. Here he is, archived depiction footage of him in his humble beginnings, formulating these holiday specials. Hi, I'm Dan Aykroyd, and I'm here to tell you about Crystal Skull Vodka. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what he would have said. <laughs> that was the first thing my mind went to. <laughs> um, <laughs> although I, I made a joke to you earlier that Dan Aykroyd's became involved in this special because he pitched Ghostbusters and they were like, sure, Dan. <laughs> sure. Why don't you just voice this character for us and then we'll make your movie. <laughs> Oh my gosh! So, um, in the in the nineteen in the crazy times of the nineteen seventies, I wasn't even there. You have to understand, shit was just different back then. Like everyone was coked out of their minds. Someone somehow held, I think it's NBC or ABC at gunpoint, air a holiday special called "The Gift of Winter," and it later had a much more substantial sequel called Witch's Night Out, which is the Halloween y subject we're discussing, but we also watched I also felt Gift of Winter was important context, wouldn't you agree? Well I watched Gift of Winter second, so <laughs> Oh was, so did I. I think it was kind of context funny either way. after the fact, yes. <laughs> um a very strange Yeah. <laughs> a very strange <laughs> Duology. Duology? Yeah. Yes. Um, um, yeah, I, 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 I had the same experience as you as I discovered these like a year ago. I watched Witch's Night Out first. Then I noticed Gift of Winter recommended. And I was like, oh, I guess they, I guess there's another one. And then I started watching it. And I was like, oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> it is like, um, I would describe this as like barely uh, a thing. It's like, well, it barely I, moves. It barely <laughs> moves. I'm assuming you're showing footage at the moment, and it's like, <laughs> well, who I can tell? Just, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, and I tried to figure out what was going on here. <laughs> like, what happened? Well, I so, I watched an interview with the writer and the lead animator which i found mm -hmm. after the fact and i was like ah interesting let's see what they have to say uh, and I, to everyone's lack of surprise i'm sure um they did not have much of a budget <laughs> no. um, and the the main like animator guy was saying uh, he had like all these really good artists on board apparently like disney people and I think it was a case of he wanted to do things his way and they were like you can't do it like that that's not going to work and he was like well I'm going to <laughs> and that was how you ended up with like this really strange style uh, it works a lot better in Witch's Night Out than it does in The Gift of Winter because they well, move more dynamically there uh, almost I'd argue, too dynamically <laughs> I'd argue Witch's Night Out is animated Yes. Whereas <laughs> Gift of Winter. Yes, is an excellent just a point. Slideshow. <laughs> yeah, it's, <laughs> it's every so often they just like move the characters up and down on the screen. Yeah, and they all look like scribbles. And um, I, it's my understanding. I'm going to get up the cast list. I think they both have Dan Aykroyd of all people and Gilda Radner. Um, well, they listed. A sorry, they listed Dan Aykroyd for. Uh, which is night out, but I couldn't hear his voice. I think he was replaced because he's not in that the credits I... either. Oh, really? Mm. I'm gonna let's see. Um, gosh, it's just yeah, that is super. But so, not a single Disney person even stepped in to be like, Can we at least make this not a scribble? Like, this guy had <laughs> such control. Yeah, I if, guess when so. I look at the winter on IMDb. The cover art is like, I'm trying to put this into words. 
the cover art is like I would almost consider it concept art. It looks nothing like the special, but you can see that the scribbles we got in the special are facsimiles of these designs. Do you know what I'm saying? Yes. Is this the cover where the characters don't really look anything like themselves? <laughs> yes. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. I wonder if that was the early concept art and they were like, here it is. Here's your characters. And that's the, <laughs> and that's the only thing that could sell it. Cause if we saw it, if it was marketed as the like shoddy mess it is yes it looks like it was no drawn way. by a drunk on a napkin in a bar one <laughs> night <laughs> that's how i would best describe it it's very strange yeah it is so yeah it's dan Aykroyd is goodly and then gilda radner is nicely oh. um all these characters are named after like their describing characteristics <laughs> yes with, with the exception of Bazooey, um, which which I have to imagine is just like a euphemism for a goofy guy. He's kind of a comedic relief. Uh, Bazooey's the big red guy, right? Yes. What were the kids called again? Uh, tender and small. Tinder? Ten <laughs> tender. <laughs> ah, blessing! Tender <laughs> and small. <laughs> And then the two heels are malicious and rotten. Yes. Uh, malicious voiced by Catherine O'Hara. In the first one, she in she is in Witch's Night Out, according to IMDb, not in The Gift of Winter. Ah, interesting. So Dan Aykroyd dropped out, but Catherine, Har Catherine O'Hara jumped in. Do they, do they yeah, you are substitute? correct. You can have one or the other, but you can't have both. <laughs> Yeah, so who's the witch? I thought, because I, I kind of inhaled myself into thinking, okay, Gilda Ratner is the witch, the godmother. I thought Captain O'Hara was, okay. Yeah, I kind of just don't know what happened. Because four years pass after the honest kind of nightmare that is the gift of winter, and we get Witch's Night Out, which is like still pretty strange, but a marked uh, change in quality and really fun, in my opinion. Yeah, I I mean, when I first started watching this, I sent you a message and it said, which is Night Out is disgusting. And <laughs> at the time, I felt very strongly that it was. But <laughs> as it went on, I like once you've adapted to the character designs and the way that they are moving, I think it's kind of charming and nice and it all comes together fairly well. Yeah, well, it's very abrasive to start off with because they like throw these characters right in your face. As I they're think... dancing to the opening song, which is Halloween, which magic, magic Halloween. Halloween. <laughs> it's very, it's very disco, very of the seventies. Just you wait, my darlings, till you meet your gracious hostess. If you're stuck inside and you can't get out, but you feel like being free, grab a witch. Like, why are these two very obvious, like, bulk and skull esque bullies hanging out with all the rest of these characters? Oh my gosh. Um, precisely. I'm, uh,. Oh man, they they almost have like mobster criminal vibes to them. What is their job? I'm like, yeah. What is their role in the town? Town <laughs> town villains? There's like there's yeah, no. Everyone has one. <laughs> I thought malicious was not wearing any clothes as well when the first time she turned up, and that was kind of disturbing. But there is like there... there's just a little line by her neck, <laughs> which I guess is meant to symbolize that she is wearing something but it's very difficult kind of, to tell yeah. on most of the characters because they're all right. one color. <laughs> they're all this big signature singular color. Um, yeah, I think it, the art except style, the I was, oh, sorry, except for the witch. Except for the witch, yeah. To kind of reflect how otherworldly, uh, the detail on her face is a little bit terrifying. It's kind of. It's that sort of strange, there's almost too many frames of animation mm -hmm. where they're all moving a bit too weirdly and i think that's what really put me off at first there's too like much movement in this one <laughs> the complete separate uncanny trajectory 
opposite of uh, Gift of Winter. Yes. Where there's just like complete lack of detail. Yeah. And in some cases, like when they reach up an arm, the arm is still forming mid animation. So they look like yeah. some sort of weird liquid monster. Right. Um, man. Uh, the plot of which is Night Out, which sounds a bit farcical to say, but here we are. <laughs> um, the godmother character, voiced by Gilda Radner, is upset that. There, there, there seems to be an epidemic of people not taking Halloween seriously because the grumpy heel, because malicious and rotten, both think it's stupid. And uh, nicely and... Goodly? Nicely. Goodly, thank you. Nicely, very distinct names. Nicely and goodly <laughs> are like, we should make Halloween into something relevant, something culturally. Uh, I, it, it, Which, it feels weirdly pointed. I don't know if there was an anti-Halloween movement in the 70s, but I certainly don't see that today. <laughs> yeah. They they take it very seriously. Is Goodly yeah. in charge of the town? Like, did they call him the mayor at one point? It seems like something to that effect. Uh, and he just... Uh, there's an abandoned house that he's like, ah, the abandoned house! That is where I will host my party. <laughs> Why don't you just host it at your own house? <laughs> Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> you just go to his house and he's like, Lenny, please don't tell anyone how I live. <laughs> he's like actually embarrassed of his living conditions, really poor. <laughs> Maybe the abandoned shed is his house. And he's like, that abandoned shed will do fine. I don't know anything about it. <laughs> Some people say it's haunted. It's not, though. It's not, though. <laughs> Stay away from there. <laughs> I heard whoever owned it was late on their electricity bill, and now it has a creepy vibe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, he decides to move into <laughs> the woman's house um, and sh and plan a Halloween party, and then she plans to ruin said Halloween party and make it more Halloweeny. It's a little, it's out of like spite almost because Tender and Small, the kids, are disappointed that no one else is really in Halloween spirit. So they kind of give up on Halloween. So to restore their Halloween spirit, the witch turns them into real monsters, but that upsets them. So she's like, well, fuck it. I'll just me. ruin, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just ruin everybody's day. And then people kind of just gradually, you know, they gradually come around. It kind of doesn't make sense, but it's very pretty to look at. I mean, it's kind of terrifying, like the concept of um, the kids just being stuck as monsters. Because <laughs> one right. of them is a ghost. Um, what's the other one? Is... Uh, a werewolf. A werewolf. And then the. Someone Biz... wants to be a Bazooie... Frankenstein monster. Yeah, Bazooey becomes a Frankenstein. Um, yeah, and the, the orange. The orange kid reminded me of Morty from Rick and Morty. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, gee, Mizzoui, I don't know about this. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually a very, that's a spot on comparison. <laughs> like both in design and in voice. I wonder if he was partially inspired by that. Um, huh. Very strange, very strange character designs all around, but that one did make me think of Morty. <laughs> <laughs> oh. We're going to turn you into monsters. You son of a bitch, I'm in. <laughs> Nobody even knows who Dan Aykroyd is, Morty. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because because Lorenzo Music was Garfield, and and he was he was the character in Ghostbusters, and then and then he was also Garfield uh, in the in the cartoon and in the show. <laughs> That's quite a good impression of Rick. <laughs> oh, thank you. Superseded mine. <laughs> Um, and I, that's absolutely something that Rick would say. I feel. Oh no, that's, like that's one of his dialogue rants. from the show. That that's is the, the album. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah, I was. That was the inter, That was Justin Roiland's drunk rambling from Interdimensional Cable One. <laughs> it sounded really familiar, but I wasn't sure if it was just my own thoughts <laughs> on the Lorenzo Music situation and the whole Garfield thing. Um, well, brilliant. Clearly, they they know their characters. Um. <laughs> um what happens after I, this? Oh, Malicious and Rotten get hold of the wand, and they they try and use it to create money, but all they do is just destroy lampposts. Hey, you malicious, you got something sort of stuck in your head there. Looks like some kind of magic wand. Okay, keep it down, over here. This could be the real thing, baby. 
try it out. What am I supposed to do? Go abracadabra? Bing bong boy? Try something. Make a wish. What do you want? What do you want? I'm starving. Uh, pocus, pocus. Give me a maraschino liver burger. Wow. An old gym sock. That's pretty close. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is uh they like I don't know there's a fun bit where she's like I'm gonna make a sardine and cotton candy sandwich and it's like oh I don't know it's just weird world it's like I guess they eat gross things too I don't that adds another are they monsters or are they just gross that's kind of another layer to all this well at the end they get turned into monsters and apparently are left like that because you don't see them again (laughs) after they run away into an alleyway well, what's kind of cute is that the nice characters want to be mean monsters. Uh, I, uh, nicely wants to be like a vampire lady, and Goodly wants to be uh, like a um, a Mongol warrior, which I don't know if you could do today. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. And then uh, Rotten wants to be a priest, and Malicious wants to be a fairy princess. I thought that was just like, I don't know, on Halloween you can be the direct opposite of what you are, even if your chief personality trait is assigned by name and design. <laughs> you know what? The the character designs were so inconsistent, I didn't realise that was them that became the priest and the princess in the end. <laughs> I, I thought that character looks a bit like Rotten, but I don't know if he's the same character. <laughs> well... I'm glad they... Well, I'm glad they got some sort of happy ending then. That makes me feel slightly better. <laughs> yeah. Says something like my my mother always wanted to be part of the part of the of a man of the cloth, yeah. suggesting some kind of like dark religious upbringing, and he's just working out the baggage. <laughs> the the rotten and malicious spin off that was cancelled for being too dark. <laughs> uh, I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if it's still in production, considering Witch's Night Out is four years after the gift of winter. <laughs> yeah, I, don't know I wonder. If it just... if... I don't know if it just took that long or if they were like, hey, you know that Gift of Winter thing we aired for some reason four years ago? I would love to know a bit more about the the actual production of it all. Because it's very strange that they didn't get, apparently, very much money. Um, this reminded me a lot of the, the Thanksgiving special that we watched previously. Except that was actually pretty well animated. <laughs> the Martian one? The, yes. Um, yeah, it's very similar vibes of just like one guy made one 30 minute thing for yeah. some reason and someone <laughs> yeah. decided to air it. Both with Catherine O'Hara in as well. That's right, yeah. And both with that, uh, you made this observation previously, but the, the talking over each other type dialogue <laughs> also oh, made completely. a return in this. <laughs> I noticed a few instances, mostly like goodly cutting people off. They, they talk over each other and that's when the camera pans to the children looking bewildered in both cases I feel like let's roll the clip I love Halloween me too I hate Halloween Blah. yeah malicious it's rotten 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 you know you know ha- Halloween is for children I mean, one wouldn't want to see grown-up adults running around in silly costumes. Oh, I don't know, Goodly. I think that dressing up is just immature, but Halloween, surely it could be nice for everybody. I mean, I think it's important that adults learn to express themselves. What we need is something to make Halloween meaningful to adults as people. One one bombshell I also wanted to share is that uh, to this, not to this, well... You can find, as of this recording, a Twitter account run by, ostensibly, the official IP holders and or creators of Witch's Night Out. If you search on Twitter, at Bazooey WNO, there is contemporary art of the characters and what looks like an in-production comic book adaption of Witch's Night Out. Uh, I do regret to say that the account hasn't tweeted since October of last year. Oh, no. Which well, is when I discovered this. October of this year. <laughs> yeah. Uh, only 134 followers. The uh, the bio, Cross Rogers animated television Halloween special that premiered on NBC October 27th, 1978, 
celebrating 40 years of magic. So uh, the fact that they only raked in a, a little less than 200 followers tells me they uh, perhaps superseded their own reputation. <laughs> Possibly. I, d I don't think anyone needs to see any more from this. <laughs> I think, it's, I think no. it's, it's best left where it belongs in the 70s. Well, and there is that charm. There, half the charm of this is just me being like, so this, like, because it feels like it was supposed to be like a series. I'm like, okay, is this just like a pilot that didn't quite take off? Like, I wonder if they were just planning to do like different seasonal specials every year or something. Yeah. Because um, we had, like, the other one is a Christmas special, and then this one is a Halloween special. And maybe they were just planning to do one per year. But. I don't know how, how who is funding it, and <laughs> like why? It, there's so many questions because <laughs> did it take them four years just to produce the second one? Did it take someone four years to decide? Yes, I want another one of those. And <laughs> did it take four years for them to come up with the idea of the second one? It's just it's very all the timings are very bizarre, <laughs> and all it does these feel. <laughs> It feels vaguely like a front, I almost want to say. <laughs> For the mob. <laughs> Dan Aykroyd's early vodka bottling. <laughs> All I need to do is churn out one Halloween special every four <laughs> years. That will give me sufficient capital to produce Ghostbusters and to produce... <laughs> How did he make the vodka again? Was it in the mountain in a stream or something? Something like that. <laughs> Like that. It was the gift of winter talking mountain. It was uh <laughs> He went to meet Winter and he lodged an official complaint against Winter. And then <laughs> he, he took over that winter factory that they went to and he was like, We don't even need to do winter anymore, guys. You can just produce vodka. <laughs> it's gonna take us thirty years to make it marketable. Uh but don't worry, I've got an interview lined up with Larry King. Everything will be fine. We just need to get winter out of here. Meanwhile, he's working on his next holiday special to cover it all up. Theme song, it's St. Patrick's Day. Which magic St. Patrick's Day? <laughs> <laughs> da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Dan, there's only three lyrics here. <laughs> it doesn't matter. People will love it. Mark my words, in four years, we'll have a Thanksgiving special. As much as I jeer, I do have like a very genuine affinity for this. I just I find it it's become part of my rotation. I find it really fun. <laughs> I'm glad I watched it. I yeah. don't know what I would have thought of it as a child. I don't know if I would have been more disturbed or less. <laughs> um, possibly less, but also possibly more. Because it, <laughs> it leaves like, a, it's got, almost got a sort of grimy feel to it. Mm -hmm. I, I feel a bit soiled having sat through it. <laughs> but <laughs> but it's, it's not without its charm. Fairy godmother, my foot. That's a wicked witch. So okay, I ain't the Avon lady. I just know I heard the Halloween wishes of little children. Well, I think that about I think that about wraps it up. So, w would you recommend? I haven't done this for a while. Would you recommend <laughs> Witch's Night Out? Would you recommend it to Dan Aykroyd if he came into your house, uh, forcibly kicked down the door? with a whole crate full of Crystal Skull Vodka. And he was like, I'm here! It's that time of year again, Thomas! We're gonna watch one of my many d movies! Possibly one of the good ones! Possibly nothing but trouble, but I don't have that on DVD, and it's not streaming anywhere for good reason. So, what if we go on YouTube and watch Witch's Night Out, which is the one that I'm not in. I'm in the first one. But what if we watch the sequel, because that's a lot better, or so they tell me. So Catherine O'Hara tells me. We don't keep in touch anymore. We fell out after Home Alone, which I also wasn't in. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I've recommended more things to Dan Aykroyd adjacent to Crystal Skull Vodka than any other loony character you've imitated. Um... <laughs> 
I would hard. I I would. I think every. I want to show this to everyone, <laughs> not just because I do like it, but just to like see their reaction. Because there's just not much like it, you know. Like, yeah, I think, I think for everyone, the full effect they need to watch oh, yeah. it in poor YouTube quality as well. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't think it would be the same in HD. It's the only thing that can like emulate the hurdles of a 70 CRT. <laughs> exactly, yeah. I think it would lose some of its charm if you watched like a fully restored version. Yeah, yeah, I'm right there with you. Uh, does that cover... Does that cover your recommendation as well? Is there anything else you wanted to add? Uh, no, I think I'm done. I I would also recommend it to... I would say watch it, yeah. <laughs> you, Wonderful. You'll never be the same. <laughs> That's Halloween. Witch magic Halloween. Halloween. Witch magic Halloween. Halloween, 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 Halloween,